to be with you to give God thanks to give him praise to give him glory and to give him honor and guys today I'm gonna make you a dish yes and the dish I'm gonna make for you is curry as asparagus yes curry asparagus guys so I'm gonna take you over there and I'm gonna show you my ingredients that I'm gonna use in my asparagus okay guys these are my ingredients I already prep them wash them cut them season them for you guys just to speed up the process for you today i have onion here these are round onion these are the chop of onion i have this is onion this is ginger this is garlic garlic i have some sea moss i have red yellow orange and green pepper right here right here i have red and green pepper guys to use in it in here right here is my asparagus i already seasoned it for you guys Yes, I put some seasoning on it. I use a little bit of my jerk season on it. I use my complete season. I use a little bit of my cayenne pepper. So I'm going to use my curry in the aisle. I have a little coconut milk here. This is a tin of coconut milk, guys. I'm cooking some quinoa right here. I have it on the fire right here for you guys. So just to speed up the process, this is all I'm using in my curry. Seamus has paragas. So we're going to go over the stove and I'm going to show you guys how we cook our meal. Okay guys, now the pot is hot. I'm going to put in my coconut oil in it. Yep. On this timer here, this is what it's going to look like. Because it's cold, it's not hot. If I were in the Caribbean, yes, it would be melted out and everything like that because the time would be hot. But on here, so definitely that's what it's gonna be like. Okay, so this is what it is. I could put a little bit more oil in it. Okay, put a little bit more oil in it. Okay, for the curry. Alright, because I said I already seasoned up my meat. My asparagus, that's my meat. So my quinoa is right here cooking. Okay, so I'm going to put a little curry in more oil for it to burn. I have plenty. My stove is low. I turned on my stove. Okay, I think that will do. I'm going to put a little piece of the ginger. Put the ginger in it. So the ginger, the garlic, yep, they can burn in together. Yep. That's what it is right here. These are burning. Together. my sea moss in it. Let the sea moss cook in with the curry, okay? So that's the sea moss right here. Okay. I just have to turn it up a little bit more. Okay. Alright, so the sea moss cook in the meantime with the curry. So it has paragus, curry has paragus and sea moss, or you can say sea moss with curry has paragus. So it's just cooking together, show you how you can use sea moss in so many different ways and cook with it. That's, you can get it daily 
vitamin and mineral from it guys your family can get it same way too guys so now i'm gonna put in my own and this is on my chop over oh, right here so let it cook me with it Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the onion and the sea moss and the curry cooking. I'm gonna put in my chopped pepper in the meantime. You want everything to have flavor and taste. Okay. So that's what it is right here. So I'm gonna just scrape this in it. Like that. It's over here. So cooking the color looking so pretty hope you can see guys okay All right looking so so lovely all right look at this look at the color wow beautiful color all right so let the pepper stay in a little bit and cook it okay Okay, now guys, what am I going to do now? I'm going to put in my asparagus, it's right here. It's already seasoned and everything like that. Because, you know, you want your vegetable to have taste, so you give a little season in it. Just like with a season of your meat. Yes, I did not um, cut it up on the board. I did, I do asparagus already. I have a video with asparagus, but it didn't you know with curry or it didn't have any sea moss. So this is a different way that you can do your asparagus in your curry and your sea okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna cover it up and let it stay in and steaming guys, all right? Okay guys, let me check my asparagus. I'm doing it right now. Let's see, it's steaming it. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna put in my coconut milk to it right now for it to finish cooking. Alright. So there you have it guys. It's less about half a tin of milk I put in it. So I'm gonna leave this for it to cook right in. It's looking so yummy already. Okay. So it is sea mass, asparagus and coconut milk. Right, so I'm gonna leave it so that you can get to cook in. Okay, guys, we're gonna check our pot now to see how far our stuff is rich. Oh, looking good, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Look at it, look at the color. Oh my god. It's looking so so yummy, looking delicious, and depends on how soft you want the asparagus or how hard you want it. You cook it to how you want it, guys. How tender you want it. This tastes good. Let me taste this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's looking so yummy guys and the rest of my coconut milk i put it into a jar right here and then i'm going to put it into my fridge okay i'm going to put a little bit more complete season in it it's to, to my taste it tastes like you need a little bit more on it so i'm going to put a little bit more complete season on it i'm going to put a little pinch of salt just to bring up popping that taste in it I'm gonna put in my cayenne pepper in it. Alright, and then I have my pepper and my onion now to put on top of it when it's finished. So I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more and then I can take it off. So you have so many different ways you can cook your asparagus. You can have so many different ways you can cook and use your sea moss. And the whole family can eat 
and get their mineral vitamin and nutrients in everything that they eat so i'm gonna let it cook some more guys okay guys let you look on the pot now see what is going on here. look at it looking very nice now i'm gonna put in my green onion put in my onion round onion inside here guys just for it to steam in you don't want to let it dry down too too much because you want a little gravy to eat or a little sauce as well you call it here to eat with your rice or your quinoa whatever you want to eat it with i'm eating mine with quinoa this is my tetra so i'm going to put these inside here let it steam for a minute and that's it okay then i can take it off tell me what you think looking really nice really beautiful okay so there you have it right here this is my curry asparagus with sea moss and coconut milk in it okay so just let these two onion cook in a minute with my pepper and then we can take it off guys okay guys now we come to the end of our asparagus look at it looking so nice so yummy tell me what you think okay you cut it as all you want it if you want them bigger you can cut them bigger if you want them smaller you can cut them smaller so this is it that's the end of it mm, this is so so nice delicious guys so this is it so i'm gonna put it with my quinoa and show you the finishing touch guys okay guys this is the finishing touch of my asparagus quinoa avocado so tell me what you think about it guys looking very nice very delicious okay so we're gonna eat guys i don't know if you want to eat with me but i want to eat with you so we're going to eat some food okay okay guys it's time to eat <laughs> yes it's time to eat this looking so lovely tastes so good so we're gonna eat some food it's hot you can see the steam coming out here yes it is hot so we have to take our time to eat mm. this is so yummy This is so good, guys. Mm. You can't ask for better than this. You cannot ask for better than this, guys. Mm. Mm. This is so yummy. Tastes so good. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Mm. This is really, really good. But I tell them what you think. As I said, our health is our wealth. We have to take care of ourselves. We can cook our vegetable that you have taste to us so guys this is how i cook so make sure you take care of yourself it is sea moss sea moss is very good for us asparagus is very good for us the quinoa so it's a healthy meal right there guys especially with your sea moss you get your vitamins your mineral your iron you name it guys you get it from the sea moss so guys especially those in the caribbean who you can just go to the ocean and get your sea moss. Go get it. If you don't live near to the ocean and you have to buy your sea moss, go buy it. Use it in your meal. You have so many different ways you can consume your sea moss that you can get your vitamin from it, guys. You can help to build your immune system. It's good for your whole entire being. So don't be afraid to use it. As I said, welcome to Joy Heat Kitchen where you find peace. Peace lead to joy, joy lead to love. 
and love leads to happiness. It's a wonderful day. Go out there, have fun, take care of yourself until I meet you back in my kitchen another day, another time. Peace, love, joy, happiness.